that was one of the saddest, like hardest things <laughs> when I went vegan was realizing like, oh my God, nothing here is vegan. <laughs> Didn't know my hair was that messy. Whatever, it's morning time. Uh, hi, tiny baby is up. Toddler is still snoozing. <laughs> Oh no. Can you go watch Mickey Mouse for a minute? No Mickey Mouse. I wish. I wish no Mickey Mouse. Can we make that a rule in this house? No Mickey Mouse? Oh, French toast. Isn't that how the last video started? With <laughs> crying babies. French toast is in the pan for the kids. It's my fr protein uh, French toast with, with tofu. I'm not having any because of course I'm off of it. I'm doing the thing where I'm not hungry until like one again and uh Fuck, like I was having my protein bar in the morning. For a while I was having French toast. Almost first thing, like very early. And now, oh, the thought of that just makes me sick eating that much food, even a protein bar. Like, no, I don't want it. Make him a coffee, waiting for toddler to wake up. Oh, they, they are awake. They're just sitting, sitting in their bed, playing with toys. Um, a baby bird. What? Oh. I can't understand half of what they say. You always hear that mom's like, oh, they always know what their kids are saying. No one else can understand them. I can't, I, I can't understand you. And now they're gone. Anyway, gonna drink my coffee, workout. I'm back to doing Kathy's stuff. I figured out a way to do Kathy, modify it. I do a lot of modification, <laughs> slowing a lot of moves down. I think that was a lot of my problem with my back. Removing certain moves like Superman's, so I never do that shit. Adding in pull-ups and stuff because I have a pull-up bar and they're good. And just kind of making my own routine with her workouts. Usually uh, upper body, lower body split two times a week. I should say that my coffee is like very, very weak. Our power went out sometime last week. A lot of people lost power. There's a big storm. Made partner go get me some coffee. Yeah, every time I have coffee from elsewhere, oh God, it's so bitter. I think Starbucks maybe is like okay but it's still, man, it's so bitter. And so it reminds me of that, oh yeah, I make like super, super weak, <laughs> super weak coffee, which I guess makes sense because supposedly I'm a super taster and that's one of the things is being super sensitive to bitter things. And coffee is like one of the most bitter things. I guess this is the only way I can actually drink it is just by watering it down and putting lots of Splenda and soy milk in it. I know that's the only way I can drink it. Black coffee, no. I would rather die. So it looks like I'm having lots of coffee. Right? This cup is huge, but this is only one like kind of heaping tablespoon in, I don't even know how many ounces this is, right? You're supposed to use one in like six ounces of water. This is like 16 ounces of water. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I just worked out weight lifting total body stuff very tired my legs are very shaky uh i got some oats here obviously making oatmeal soy milk unsweetened soy milk i like putting walnuts on top some flax seeds cinnamon brown sugar peanut butter i'll probably only use like a tablespoon of peanut butter and of course i buy peanut butter by the by the four pounds <laughs> gonna put the protein in a little shake instead of putting it in the oatmeal i've got the vega protein made simple strawberry banana Again, I like this stuff, doesn't have any stevia in it, just a little bit of sugar, it's really tasty. Orange juice and some bananas. I was gonna do a strawberry one, but we're out of strawberries. So I think I forgot to mention the Nugo bar before I had the oatmeal and the smoothie and stuff after my workout. It feels like a hair, I'm always getting hair stuck between my boobs, just little strands. I don't know why I needed to, okay. Anyway, I had a Nugo bar, uh, not the Slim, the delicious, pretzel ones. I actually ordered some because they don't carry them anymore at our grocery store. I used to get like one when I would go shopping and yeah, they don't carry them. So instead I bought like so much from, cause that went, I don't know, but they're so good. So I had that instead this morning. Then the oatmeal and stuff after my workout. And then for lunch, I had a little bit of pineapple just while I was cutting it up. Then I had some of the sweet potato curried soup, that fat-free vegan recipe that I mentioned recently. Very good, nice and spicy. Ooh, it's so delicious. This is the only thing I love with sweet potato. Someone mentioned sweet potato tempura. They actually remembered me mentioning that. I don't know when I mentioned that, 
But yeah, there was this Japanese restaurant called Ito. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but I don't even know if it's still open. Maybe it is. Yeah, before I was vegan, I would eat there a lot with my family. And that was one of my favorite things was their tempura. They would have all like tempura vegetables and the tempura sweet potato. <gasps> that was one of the saddest, like hardest things <laughs> when I went vegan was realizing like, oh my God, nothing here is vegan. Like I still had the tempura, but like the clear soup I would eat that had like calamari, I think in it. And just like nothing else, nothing else was vegan. <sighs> that was sad, but yeah, good, good call. <laughs> Can't believe y'all remember that. You know me better than I know myself. That's creepy. So had that soup, a little bit of pineapple, then apple and peanut butter I think I had for a snack pretty late. I thought today was gonna be a good day. I wasn't planning on working today. I was just gonna, so I thought it'd be like a good day to record what I ate today because I was gonna have time to make like a nice dinner and all of that. And then I ended up working instead on the um, D'Angelo Wallace video that is up right now on the second video. I had everything done. It was going to be posted today. I'd posted it to Patreon the day before and then decided to respond to his follow-up video to that vegan teacher. So yeah, spent all day doing that and was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't do what I ate today. Today then I'll wait for a better day. And then I was like, no, this is, you know, let's keep it real. This is how it is sometimes. You want to see what I have? <laughs> do you want to see what sad thing? Should I say apple peanut butter for a snack? And here's my sad little dinner at almost nine o'clock. <laughs> just a massive amount there's a full one cucumber in this we've had it for a little while i was afraid it's gonna go bad it seemed fine so i just went ahead i just went ahead and used it all but yeah made yummy cucumber hummus broccoli scallion it's like all green stuff um i wanted some pepper but oh well oh and an olive obviously <laughs> the rest of the cucumber and some ranch on top the daya ranch i really like that stuff partner does not he thinks it's weird oh because it's more he likes more of like a dill ranch and that is just like not ranch to me it's weird so he doesn't like it but it's good and i did a really weird thing where i decided to cut the the cucumber into like circles instead of sticks so it made it just real easy to wrap i was very hungry i am still very hungry so i'm gonna finish this and then it's getting pretty late i don't think i'm gonna have room for popcorn after all this in my head i'm like oh yeah i can totally eat giant bowl of popcorn i don't think so probably gonna want something sweet anyway so i might just have another nugo bar or maybe some pineapple i don't know or i'll just have my little my little candies i found a, a good replacement for jolly ranchers it's the yum earth brand that i talked about liking before not all of their stuff is vegan they've got some i think gelatin and some stuff but a lot of it is and they have these little hard candies just at our store and they're delicious. They taste like their lollipops, which are very good, except for the cherry. Oh, that shit is medicinal. The pomegranate flavor, the strawberry, the like mango something, and then what's we'll the other one? Peach or whatever. They're all delicious. And then they also have a lemon one. So I got both bags. The lemon is also really good. So I have like five of those <laughs> at night just while we're watching stuff or I'm playing, you know, Pikmin 3 or, or whatever. So I might just have those. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I guess that's it. I feel like this was a pretty short one. I didn't spend several minutes talking about whatever, whatever bullshit. I don't know. Probably around 100 grams, I'm sure. It's usually what I eat. Lots of vitamin A, I'm sure, from the, um, from the curried sweet potato soup. I'll have my supplements too. I'll have my, the Deva prenatal. I always take the prenatal because it's got extra iron and I need extra iron. My DHA, I have been better about taking that. Yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, support the channel, patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. And I will have a new video very soon. Oh, I made this shirt for myself. Is this a deep cut? You guys remember this? I have no idea what video that was in. What video would that have been in? Because, because it was about boobs. What, what video was I talking about? Why would I have looked up a study? It was about breast augmentation. Oh, I was talking about maybe having breast augmentation and help my back. Ha ha ha, motherfucker. Don't even have to think about that anymore. That's fantastic. Wow. I just realized that. Who knows? My back may go to shit again. But as for now, like that's not even, ah, man, that's great. Although my boobs are like randomly hurting and I don't know why and it really sucks. So, you know, maybe that would be great. But uh, yeah, man, if, if, oof, feels like first trimester pregnancy. I'm not pregnant. I'm definitely not. But that's 
it's not that bad, but it's pretty fucking bad. And I don't get it because I'm not, you know, usually my boobs start to hurt once I get up to a certain weight and my bra gets really tight and I'm nowhere near that weight and I'm not pregnant. So I don't know what's going on, but it has been a while that they have been so painful. As soon as I take off this bra, they're just gonna, oh God. But yeah, that was from that. And I just thought it was really funny and I've just had it on random things. And I made a little shirt for myself. That's it. That's the story.